Hello everybody. Today I'm going to use Blue Willow to design a bottle. I think Blue Willow works really well for this because it's sort of minimalistic compared to some other AI art tools. There's only a few basic commands you can use. So right now you can change the aspect ratio, you can add some negative prompts. And since they just came up with a new model, you can use dash dash v1 to use version 1 of Blue Willow. If you don't have a Blue Willow account set up, go to my first video where I explain all the details on how to set it up. Like all my other videos, I'll have all the timestamps mentioned in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, please add a comment mentioning your professional background. I would love to know where my audience is coming from. Just a disclaimer before I get started. So I'm going to do everything live. So there might be things which don't work. And I think that's an important part of the process because you need to know what does and doesn't work. So today I'm going to try to design a whiskey bottle with some specifications that I want to use. To get started, just type slash imagine whiskey bottle and that's enough all right that gave me the first version of the whiskey bottles so if you look at it i personally like this one on the left a lot so i'm going to do a u3 to upscale that all right so now i have an upscale version of the whiskey bottle that i like what i'm going to do is i'm going to save that image on my desktop test one and say save all right, so now I have this image that is the first version of my whiskey bottle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this website called postimages.org and create an account. And after you have your account created, you just upload the picture we just downloaded. After you have that uploaded, use this direct link which says test1.jpg at the end. So I'm going to copy that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that in this prompt. So this is a simple prompt for Blue Willow. I say imagine I use the image URL and I'm going to keep the aspect ratio as 3 by 2. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brand name. So I'm just going to use brand name Suki. So that's just my nickname. So I'm going to use that and let's see what it generates. So after you copy that, come back to Blue Willow and paste it right here. It's going to say that you have a command matching imagine so when you click this it's going to arrange the prompt correctly all you do is hit enter all right so it gave me some really cool designs this is the original version i started with and these are the designs it gave me as you see it didn't quite use the brand name on its body so i'm going to try regenerating this again all right so i got at least one of them which has the entire name on it but i don't really know what's going on here it looks like it's some kind of a lamp here and this almost looks like a bird I think of these, I like this the most. So even though this doesn't quite have the brand name on it, I think I'm gonna proceed with this one. So I'm gonna upscale the first one. All right, now we have an upscale version of the current version of the whiskey bottle, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm gonna download this one and save as test two. I'm gonna go back to my post images and upload the test two. Copy the image URL right here. Go back to my prompt paste this here. I'm going to keep the brand name the same, but this time I'm going to add a silver lid. Copy the prompt, go back to Blue Willow, paste it right there. As you see, it already adjusted my prompt. Now I'm going to click enter. Now we're talking, we have four different variations of test two. I actually like the logo here better, and this does not show the brand as clearly, but I think the top is working as expected. This looks more like a container of some sort, and I think the last two here looks like a jewelry box or a crock pot or something. I'm gonna proceed with this one on the top. So I'm gonna upscale U1. Very cool. So even though I don't have the logo properly visible here, I think I really like what's going on at the top here. So now I'm gonna save this image as test three. Save it right there. Upload test three. We have the URL ready. Make sure to choose the one with the .jpg at the end. Now I'm gonna add my last edition, which is a gold plating. So I have brand name, I have a silver lid, I have a gold plating. Copy this whole thing. Go back to blue below and paste it right here. Perfect. Whoa, this actually completely changed the design. So the whole thing just looks like a golden box of some sort now. This does look pretty cool, but I don't think it's a whiskey bottle. So I'm going to change my prompt a little bit to say gold handle and see how this one reacts. No, I think this is still too far. Let me try again. Golden stand. Oh. 
All right, I think it does look better than the last one because it still looks like a bottle. I'm gonna do one more generation of the same prompt and see if I like one from the eight of them. And I think it's going too far now. All right, from these four, I think I like the one on the right here the most. I'm gonna upscale that. I'm gonna say U4. All right, so this is pretty close to what I had in mind. So I had in mind something with the gold plating with a silver lid and which looks like a very high-end whiskey bottle. The logo here is not all the way there, but I think I saw some designs here with a better logo. For instance, I think this one had a better logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upscale this one also. So I'm gonna do U2. And while it's upscaling, I'm gonna download this one. Perfect, so I'm gonna download this one just for the logo. Alright, as you see the process can get messy and let me know in the comments if you like this style of videos where I go through the process and I also show you what doesn't work because a lot of times people usually cut that out but my channel is called Testing AI so while testing some things won't work and I really like showing what doesn't work so you have an idea of what not to do. Alright, to conclude I want to show all the designs we came up with. So this is the first design which is actually pretty nice but it looks like a standard whiskey bottle you would get at a bar and now we added some more designs to it. This looks like a wax coating on it or something. The next one is the one which has the silver lighting on it. And I do really like this one. The one after that covered the whole bottle with gold. So this is like a gold plating. I don't know if it's real gold, but it does look pretty nice. Final one I downloaded just because I like the logo here the most. I think Test 3 might be the most practical one though, because it has a beautiful metallic top, but it does also show the color of the whiskey here. This one looks more fancy, but it does not show what is inside, so it can be any other liquor. And I think maybe this bottle can be used for other liquors, but for whiskey specifically, maybe Test 3 is a winner here. But I hope you got some value from this video and I wanted to show you how Blue Willow does not produce ultra realistic designs and that's actually better for designing bottles or maybe furniture or something like that because it looks more like a product versus just a photograph. I'm going to have a few more videos coming out about product design that I have in mind but if you like this video make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have tried your own designs and how it worked. Till the next video, thank you so much.